super close. Rival, I felt like I did better game one than I did game two. Game two, I panicked. But not about me, man. It's more about Eon and S2H, aka Slither 200, which is one of the semis. Getting uh, Meta Knight versus Pichu. I've, uh, I've been hearing a lot of Meta Knights complain about this matchup. Just how small Pichu is, how hard it is to hit him. And then just once Pichu hits you, look at this. Yeah, man, he takes a whole. He takes. You give him an inch, he takes a mile, dude. And that damage that, that got from that is pretty, pretty tremendous. It's important to note that even though I feel like Pichu is honestly the best representation of a glass cannon, you know, does a lot of damage, super powerful, super strong. But the minute you get Pichu off stage, disadvantage, yo man, that character will suffer. Because of weight, Pichu is actually the lightest character in Smash Ultimate. No longer Puff. Puff uh, moving it down to second. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Big F Smash coming in. Okay, that gives the lead for Essex to start coming in here, but I like the fact that Eon went for the Thunder off the oh, stage. Gets a, oh, that's gets a, a jab great block setup. I like it. For those of you wondering, Jab Blocks only will go for two hits now, as opposed to the original way it was. I think it was like three hits in Smash It was four. three. Yeah, this time it's two. And doesn't send you into that forced get up, so you don't have as much time to do something. Yeah. So you have to have what you want to do ready. You have to have your game plan planned out, dude. I mean, that's, that's the best way to think about it. Like, when you go into a match, What's your game plan? What's what are you what are you doing off the gate to start winning? Because you have no game plan. Trust me, you're gonna formulate one a little too late, and hope and by the time you get one, it might be too little too late. Great angle on the shield from Eon at the ledge. Understand, you know what? That up B will poke. Okay, great shield there. Eon moves in with the back air. Wow, actually not going to avoid that, uh, that back of Pichu trying to put out four throw. Yeah. Oh, I didn't what? Think, I, I didn't think that was going to kill. Me either. That DI was... I don't know, man. I feel like it was a DI yeah, that one. Might've, that might have been suspect. Big question by the cops, man. But, yo, man, what DI was that? <laughs> oh, but Nair going to hit. Yeah, 120. Pichu's not going to be able to live that one. But still, two stocks down. Astro yeah. is gonna have to get a get a crazy uh, Meta Knight combo going. One thing I do want to see, see him go is look for a pick, right? Like stay up in the air, avoid a lot of the Pichu camp, avoid the Thunder Jolt. Okay. Tries to grab, but like, Pichu F tilt. I like that he came out with an air here and then really went for four shots since he landed on stage. Way too fast, gonna get. Oh, nice! Added dash attack to up B. That was that was supposed to go than I thought it would be. Same. Okay, Eon here at the edge. S2H picking and choosing to line with Eon with a great reaction there. What's in the grab? I kind of like the look on this bad Pichu has when Pichu misses the grab. You're like, damn, you know you're about to get wrong. No, stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, missing that uh, down air, but you could go over that when you have another stock. Yeah. Tijo actually to beat out the drill rush. It's interesting to note that uh, Thunder Jolt is actually the lowest damaging move that Pichu has to itself. It's about 0.4%, uh, as opposed to head uh, up B. Up B technically has the highest damage. You're going to actually do up to 3% just for recovering. But it's 1.5% for each up B. Grade 4, it's out there coming out from Eon. Sorry, just some, some bit of a knowledge yeah. there for you guys wanting to go for Pichu. Honestly, I thought the I thought the highest one would be Thunder. No, it, it's actually not Thunder. It, it's really weird. Um, it's up B. Ten technically, it's up B because most of the time you are using both both up B's, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll be doing 3% to yourself, 1.5 each. The second one, honestly, being headbutt, it's 1.5. Mm -hmm. Thunder Joe only being 0.4%. 0. 0. So although you, you can't still camp out, and yeah. it just doesn't do a lot it, of it damage. Does, yeah, you literally can do three Thunder Joe's before you actually take up percent. Uh, Shout out to Kuragami Hammer, actually, putting out the information for us all. Definitely check out the website, check out his Twitter as well. He's so and, accurate, reliable. Like, yeah. Shout out to Jukia. He, he like he like uh, made a whole tweet like Jukia showed him how to like import the data like that pretty falsely. So they put up more frame data and more information for us. But Jukia's another go. Oh man, he's a go dude. He came up with the mod training pack. So Nintendo, Nintendo should have hired this man. Right. He, but he's all doing his own thing. Speaking of his own thing, gonna be going over to town and city, I'm trying to see the mayor right now. Oh, oh that no. was whoa. That was tough, dude. I felt S2H thought that the ledge was safe, and he was like, you know what, let me grab it here, but a little too long there at the ledge. That was, that was such a hard read. Grab gonna, gonna scoop him in. 
But Eon, he's not going to fall prey to that. He's going to swing right out of there. Oh, I like it. The switch comes out with the force smash. Oh, oh great. great! That was a great catch. That was even the weak part of the NATO, too. Yeah. That's one of the few times I do see SOH go for the NATO. I'm not going to lie. He's not, not a big fan of how it works in the game. You don't see him really pull it off that often, but when he does, man, it's super calculated and super understanding. Like, hey, man, I got to really pull this out here. So he's definitely one of the players who likes to keep his cards close to his chest, doesn't really reveal too much, goes for the same battle plan every now and then, and then starts slowly incorporating different things. Like that, like that forward tilt, right? He wasn't really going for that. He wasn't ready for that forward at that time. Of course, forward tilt still being three hits. Much better than it was in Smash 4. For long That's so much more raid. Yeah. Like, Meta Knight still has a toothpick for a range, but it's not as bad as it was in Smash 4. Sword definitely looking a lot longer. SOH though, picking the Julian and landing. Eon gets the grab here. Alright, looking for the, uh, for the comeback on the stage. Nice back air. SOH retreating towards the ledge. I didn't like that option for SOH because I felt like he should have held his ground there towards the center stage. SOH will go for that a lot. He'll, like, just go for these S-Smash reads. A lot of times, it'll be based off conditioning, but sometimes he'll just be doing it. He'll throw it out and it'll just be way off the margin. You're like, what are you even doing there? Yeah. The one thing I do like about the, when he throws them out is that he doesn't see like that. They're low commitment, pretty fast, good startup, good end lag. And not only that, he can, like you said, he conditions you for it. He gets good roll reads there. And even if it doesn't get a kill, it gets a good solid stage control for it as well. Nice to HL, choosing his line on the stage here. And he gets the shuttle, sorry, the dimensional cape to come back. Eon still so prevalent to catch up. Oh, great carry. Back air that won't kill SWH. Better DI this time around. Alright, kind of leading to come back to the stage. Oh, uh, no, that's and that thing. forward till. Pichu just kind of kind of throw the, throw the little feeties out, and that's so hard to get around sometimes. Just the toe, just the toe. Can you really demand this little character, man? He's so happy, so adorable. So good. <laughs> yeah, so good, dude. Who would have. I want to I wanna give a great shout out to Larry Lur because when I talked to Larry and we would talk one time, we talked about Pichu in the game and we kind of. I remember Larry told me if Pichu comes back, he actually thinks Pichu would be really great. Like, this was like a while back in Smash 4. Like, I remember he told me, like, I think Pichu's going to be really good when he comes. If how he ever comes back. How do you get that hard read? Wow, Eon's already up 2 0. I forgot. Two, one, I swear to God. Go! Dude, Larry, Larry, Larry definitely was like the first person to tell me like if Pichu ever comes back, he's just gonna be top tier, high tier. Even. Yeah. Yeah. And you and can't even hit him half the time. Yeah, like. and the damage he does to himself is not that bad, like I mentioned earlier, right? Energy being the lowest one, zero point four percent. But Eon switching out to Pokemon Trainer. Uh, Eon definitely testing the waters with his pocket character. Of course, Eon's still known for the box. And yeah, he went up Pokemon oh, no. Trainer. Beautiful up Yeah. Yeah. He uh, went Pokemon Trainer also against Kanye in, in uh, Winter's Quarter. And the Pokemon Trainer is looking good. Let's see what s can do about though. I like it. Still going oh, for the up air. Is this a good ladder here? But oh. he misses the mark. He hit that the, the part of up air in the back where he'll start sending like more downwards. Yeah. If he got one more like the middle hit, that would have been a great time to hit a hit the up B. Oh yeah, that's the unfortunately oh, he he used all he went to Charizard and then immediately jumped and then went back to Squirtle, so jumped, unfortunately. The switch out is much better than it was, of course, in the previous game uh, being Brawl, but still can definitely mess you up in that switch out you saw. Yeah, it definitely has some eye burn. If you have a move that just lasts long enough, it'll end up it'll end up still hitting you. And switch kind of very familiar of what it's like to go against Ivasaur because he knows, like, hey, Ivasaur's going to come in with Razor Leaf like that. Right, come in towards me, I'm going to go for Razor Leaf. Yeah, Razor Leaf, really good for just controlling the, the space. And uh, at high percent, it'll just confirm into, not confirm, but it'll set up for like an up air mix up or a fair or yeah. even an up B. And a good way to come on the uh, stage too as well. We see that with Mario with fireballs, right? Like Mario, he loves to go for fireballs, loves to come with fireballs. Fireballs are the same, a great down another, to the up B. Another whip yeah. coming out. He's, just, he's hitting that whip hard. He gets a, yeah, he gets an F tilt into a grab. Nice. No way, no way. Squirtle's light, dude. Squirtle's light. Yeah, Squirtle's I, like top five lightest character in the game. He's a uh, third lightest, actually. Yeah. Uh, kind of crazy, right? Like, Eon means like two of the lightest characters in the game. Like, 
Pichu and of course Pokemon Trainer have the Squirtle. Yeah, that was definitely not the time to have at the Squirtle. That's just really one of the bad things about Squirtle is he has really good low protect combos, but when it comes to killing, he kind of struggles. And oh, there it is! Catches the up B. Switch, no stranger to catch it. That's the thing. Like you said, he has struggles, man. We saw that one. We saw one of them right there. Yeah, really. What what I've been noticing is the optimal play for Squirtle is you'll go in at the beginning, you'll get your damage, you'll get him to 50, 60 percent because Squirtle, he he just has those low percent combos. They'll hit you a lot. Then you'll go to Ivy Store because you'll have that new. You have the Razor Leaf. You have the Nair, the Down Airs for the uh, Edge Guarding. Then you'll usually switch to Charizard. When you need that extra jump to recover, or you're really trying to live long enough. Yeah. This is unfortunate for uh, Charizard because he's really not getting much love, but hey, he still serves a purpose. Yeah. Eon, now moving on to game. I'm sorry, S Switch had a point. S Switch won that game. 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 Score! Alright, alright, man. Cool. Just making sure you're awake. I'm so sorry, guys. I apologize for that one. Hey, bro, you're just trying to get the respect you deserve, man. You give him that point, man. He earned it. Yeah, he did. S switch. He killed him at 50% twice. S switch is the road warrior, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I've been in many carpools with this guy. That man travels. He treat. Tra I'm not. They're a treat. Being being a part of S switch carpool is honestly really fun. If you ever live in SoCal and he invites you to go somewhere, man, take take the opportunity, man. He you you'll, you'll enjoy the road trip. He knows so many people. Yeah, he does, dude. Yeah, he a bit of a smash Pokedex. Elon, of course, also annoying many people at the top level. Well, back over to his fox. Yeah. He has been telling me earlier that he's been using Pikachu a lot, but still keeps the fox pretty sharp. Kind of tell here, he's kind of respecting SH because he knows what SH is looking for. Goes to show, right? Like, the respect that like, both players are giving each other here. Like, he knows, hey, if I come in too hot against this switch, he will find this pick. He will grab this ladder. Now you're good, bro. No, dude, you're good. Another S smash. Okay. See that respect from Eon there using those jumps to find another angle to come back in. Oh, oh I love the parry. parry. Uh, he just he just didn't get what he needed, but that was so good. Good angle on the shield from Eon. Very self-aware of how the shield can work in this game. Uh, poking with the uh, upper right there. Oh, he had the redo. I'd like to see him start going for maybe a little something harder. Oh, oh no! Facing the wrong way. S switch so close. He always yeah he always goes to that roll uh, to the other side for the F smash. See like that. Good back here out of the shield there. Understand Elon was towards the ledge there, taking advantage of that opportunity. And so it's kind of wasting time at the ledge. I like how he's using the camping option. And so it's not afraid to play lame. I'm not gonna lie, he knows like, hey man, if I have to play lame and win the game, I'm never afraid. Sometimes, I, sometimes just going all in isn't the play. You just gotta, you gotta slow it down. You just gotta man. control the space. Elon, Elon looking to change the name of that one, dude. He just went all in with that up smash. Never afraid. That's the nature of Fox. Great combo coming off the bat there. Go for the dare, but gets a trip, but not believing he's gonna get the trip, so he went for another one. That kind of goes to show like how that down tilt isn't as great as it used to be, right? Like he gets the trip, but Eon's still able to react, but S switch. Looking for the get up there. I like it. Oh, Reads the really, landing. Really good edge trapping from a S switch. Just barely gonna miss out though, but he still got a lot of percent from that. Okay. Going for another dash tag. A lot of these axe hacks have been punished by Eon. Even if they do cross up, he just knows where to go and how to punish it. Oh, Eon almost gets. I, he, gets he gets the nair. I, I wasn't sure if he was going to go for the up smash yet, but there, there he goes go. for it. Doesn't get the uh, the auto canceling angle right there. Mm -hmm. Real real quick, let me ring in Charlie. Charlie, come over here for me one second, man. Let me know how does the how does the neutral air up smash work? Well, on floaties and like not so floaties but not fast fallers, it's guaranteed. It's usually guaranteed if the if the mid weights DI away, they can tech out of it. So wow, that was sick. <laughs> sick jab lock. <laughs> yeah. So usually the way it goes is if you're a floaty, narrow smash is pretty much guaranteed. If you don't go into tumble and something weird doesn't happen, and then if you're a fast faller, I pretty much always have to expect a tech chase after nair. So it's not always guaranteed unless um I have a lot of rage and I hit you at like around 90. It worked that in that case it's guaranteed because you don't go into tumble, but it only it'll, it'll only kill with rage. Yeah, it just kind of slides you forward. Right. Hey guys, thank you Charlie for coming in for the nod for Fox there. But Eon still continuing this great lead. SH 107, Eon 53%. SH can get Eon off the stage here. 
And Fighter Balls will come back. Angling the shield as well, too. Oh, so close to an Eon. Angle going for the up air. Man, Still, used... SRH was doing so good. He was, he was, dude. Like you said, the Sakurai angle. Ooh, real tough. He was doing good, man. He had to get him off the stage one more time. It could have been easy pickings for